Hi everyone, in this video I'll be changing the background or the grub theme when Ventoy boots up. So I'm going to search for Ventoy change theme. Ventoy theme plugin, click here. See here there's this configuration file, this is a JSON file, ventoy.json, and this is good to start off with. And so I'm going to open up Explorer. And we're going to go into my PC and on my USB drive, there's two partitions, Ventoy with my ISO files, and there's the system partition here. Uh, so we're going to go into the partition with the ISO files. We're going to create a directory called Ventoy. Go into that directory. We're going to open up Notepad. And so the contents here, we're going to copy, go back into Notepad, we're going to paste it all in, we're going to save it, save as, we're going to put it into the Ventoy directory that we just created, we're going to call it Ventoy.json, and we're going to have it as all files because we don't want to save it as a text file, so we're going to hit save. And now we're going to search for a theme. So we're going to go grub themes gnome-look.org, click here. And we're going to look for a theme. Okay, I'll pick this one here. And we're going to go to files. We're going to download it. Okay, it's downloaded. And this is a tarball and it's gzipped. And so what you can use is you can use 7-zip to unextract it. So you can go to Google and you can look for 7-zip download. And you can just download it. And you can just download the executable. But I already have it installed. So I'm going to go to 7-zip file manager. It's my downloads directory. and Click on here, and I'm going to click on it again. And here is what we have to extract. So I'm going to extract it. Go to Downloads folder. OK, and we're going to copy the CyberRE directory here. So the CyberRE directory has all of the files needed. So it has the background file, and it has all the fonts here. So we're going to copy this, the CyberRE directory. Go to the Ventoid partition, and we're going to go into the Ventoid folder. And then we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it theme. We're going to go into it, and we're going to paste it in here. So here are all the files. So it's on the theme folder. Next, we're going to go and open up the Ventoid file again. And so here we got to change this. So instead of Ventoy theme blur, it's going to be Cyber RE. And the fonts here, let's go to the directory here. There's one, two, three, four, there's six fonts here. Two, three, four, five, six, and move the comma from the last line. Otherwise, you're going to get a syntax error, as this is the last entry here in the JSON file. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the names of these fonts here. them. Okay, and the next one, Droid logo. Seventeen. Number twenty. Twenty-six. Here's Droid logo. Regular twelve. Seven. 
17. Okay, so we have kind of removed that comma, of course. And so here are all the fonts here. So I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to restart my computer and boot from the USB drive. So it's booted into Ventoy. We can see the new theme here and the fonts have loaded. It's straightforward to change a theme in Ventoy. I hope this was helpful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.